In this video, we will evaluate the limits of algebraic functions. Meron tayong examples dito na magsisimula sa mga simpleng algebraic functions lang. Papunta sa mga functions na nag involve na terms na may radical sign. No, simulan natin dito. Pag sinabi nating limits, alam natin na kung halimbawa ang graph natin, itong x minus 5, let's say, itong kanya mag graph At i-evaluate natin yung limit at x equals 4. As x approaches 4, basically ang hinahanap natin ay yung y value ng ating function. Habang yung value ng x natin ay lumalapit ng lumalapit sa 4. So, 4, that is x equals 4. Ano ang value ng function yan? Habang lumalapit tayo sa 4. Yan ang hinahanap natin. Y value. Not exactly x equals 4, pero as we get closer and closer to x equals 4, no? Habang lumalapit tayo dyan sa x equals Paano natin gagawin yun ng hindi natin yung graph ng mga function? Basically, ang idea is to plug in value ng x na ina-approach natin doon mismo sa x, lahat ng x dito sa ating function. So, let's say you're approaching 4 to sa 2x minus 5. Simply means to plug in 4 sa lahat ng x dun sa function na you simplify this, this is going to be 8 minus 5, and that's going to be positive. It's as simple. May mga pagkakataon na hindi gumagamit ng equal sign. Ang ginagamit ay yung approximate equal, and subtracting yung idea natin sa limit. We're trying to be as close as possible dun sa value na hinahanap. Not exactly at that value. So, hindi x equals some number, but x approaches that number. So, kung gagamit ka ng approximation symbol, ayos lang. Kung gagamit ka ng sign, ayos lang din naman. Tingnan natin dito sa number 2 natin. Example number 2 is to evaluate the limit of x squared plus 3x minus 7 as x approaches negative 2. Same thing, pwede mong i-graph ito. Tignan mo ang nasa ng x equals negative 2. Then, tingnan ko ano yung y value corresponding to that x value. Pero pwede namang hindi na lang. Kaya na mag-graph, just do it algebraically. Plug in negative 2 sa lahat ng x ng expression natin. So, we have negative 2 squared plus 3 multiplied by negative 2 minus 7. Then, you simplify. Negative 2 multiplied by itself is positive 4. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Mag-subtract ka pa ng 7. Now, we have 4. Minus 6, minus 7. Or minus 6 is negative 2. Taka pa ng 7, that's going to be minus 9. Example number 3 natin, we are asked to evaluate the limit of x squared minus 25 all over x minus 5 as x approaches 5. Subukan natin yung kanina pa natin ginagawa, which is to plug in the value that we want to approach dun sa lahat ng x ng ating function, ating expression. In this example's case, we plug in 5 sa lahat ng x. So now we have 5 squared minus 25, subtracted by 5 minus 5. Tignan natin ka ano mangyayari. 5 multiplied by itself is 25, minus itself. Then sa baba, 5 minus 5 na yun. Simplify natin further. That's going to be 0 minus 0. Sa so, tuwing makakakuha tayo ng ganitong uri ng sagot, hindi natin nahanap yung tamang limit. Kasi ang tawag sa 0 over 0 ay indeterminate. Terminate form. Determinate form. Siya kagaya ng infinity over infinity. Yan. 
Uh, what else? Marami tayong indef- indeterminate form. Meron din tayong infinity, raised to infinity. Mga numbers, mga value na expression na walang sense. And yung indeterminate form. Kapag yan yung lumalabas, hindi natin nahanap ng hanap yung tamang limit. So, paano ginagawa natin? Instead of just plugging in, straight up, simplify muna natin. Bukan natin i-simplify muna yung expression, tsaka tayo mag-plug in. Right? So, gagawin ko siya ulit, kaso dito sa part na lang na to. x squared minus 25, this is a difference of 2 squares, which means kaya natin yan i-rewrite as x minus 5 divided by x plus 5. Divided by x minus 5. Kung mapapansin, kaya natin i-cancel because anything divided by itself is 1. So now we just have x plus 5. Mas simple na siya tingnan, siguro pwede natin i-plug in na yung value na ina-approach natin, which is 5. 5 plus 5, that will give us 10 as our limit. So may pagkakataon na hindi ka pwedeng mag-plug in agad. Sometimes you need to simplify first before. Plug in the value you want to approach para makanap mo yung tamang limit ng function. Let's try the same thing dito sa example number 4 where we are asked to evaluate the limit of 3r minus 1 divided by 9r squared minus 1 as r should be r as r approaches negative 1 third. Same thing kung ipa-plug in mo yan, magiging 0 over 0 yan. So, ano kaya kung maghanap tayo ng ibang paraan? So, bukan natin isimplify muna itong 3r minus 1 over 9r squared minus 1. Pansinin na yung denominator natin is also a difference of 2 squares, which means we can simplify this as denominator natin. We can simplify this as 3r minus 1 multiplied by 3r plus 1. Ayan. So, yung First term natin ay square. May multiply yung 3r by itself. Then yung 1, square din yan. That's 1 times 1. Okay na lang. Alam na natin yung special products. Kaya kahit hindi natin gawin yung process na yun, alam natin yung magiging itura ng kanyang factor. Sa numerator naman natin, wala tayong magagawa dyan. So it's just 3r minus 1. But the good thing is that we can cancel that out dahil may kamukha siya sa denominator. Anything divided by itself is 1. Now we have 1 over 3r plus 1. Baka may makuha na tayong finite value pag nag-plug in. Try natin. 1 over 3 multiplied by negative 1 third plus 1. Simplifying further. We have 1 over. This is negative 1 plus 1. Still going to be 0. I'm not mistaken. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Divided by 3 is negative 1 plus 1. Again, magiging 1 over 0 siya. So this is actually undefined. Sabihin, yung limit nitong 3r minus 1 over 9r squared minus 1 as r or pwede nata- natin tawagin niya na x, x value natin. Yung x value natin na malapit na lumalapit sa negative one-third ay undefined. Walang finite na y value na na-approach yung function na to habang yung x ay nagiging one-third. Find or pwede natin sabihin infinity. Infinity lang ay hindi determinate form. Right? Nangyayari talaga yon. Meron talagang limit na infinity or undefined. Pero yung 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, um, infinity raised to infinity, yan yung mga indeterminate. So, yung example natin, ito na yung medyo komplikadong itura ng functions. Meron ng radical signs na involve. Pero hindi ibig sabihin mahirap. In fact, yung gagamitin natin process dito ay eh, process na nagagamit na natin dati pa man. Evaluate the limit of square root of x minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches. 
Again, if you just try to plug in, this is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. Minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. 0 over 0. In determinate form, walang, walang sense. So, gawa tayo ng paraan para hindi natin makuha yun. Let's simplify this by rationalizing the numerator. Pag sinabi natin rationalize, ibig sabihin mo multiply natin to by its conjugate. Ano conjugate? Kamukha niya, pero magkaiba sila ng operation sa gitna. So basically, gagawin natin yon sa numerator at sa denominator. Conjugate ng square root of x minus 1 is square root of x then kaso plus 1. Gawin din natin sa baba. And then, we multiply. This is a binomial multiplied by a binomial, which means kailangan natin mag-foil. Ayan. Ayan. Ito, ganun din ito. Ito. Same thing sa denominator. Simulan natin sa numerator. Square root of x multiplied by square root of x is just x. Because again, square root of x can be rewritten as x raised to 1 half x times x raised to 1 half times x raised to 1 half. Add mo yung exponent. So, x raised to 1 yun or simply x. Square root of x times positive 1 is just positive square root of x. Then, we have negative 1 multiplied by negative square root of x. So, yun ay magiging negative square root of x. And then, finally, we have negative 1 multiplied by positive 1. Yun naman ay magiging negative 1. Mamaya na natin is simplify Punta mo na natin yung denominator. In denominator, technically, dapat ka nang mag-foil din. Pero, dahil advanced tayo mag-isip, alam natin na baka may maka-cancel sa baba. So, iwanan natin sila na factored form. x minus 1 pa rin multiplied by square root of x plus 1. Right? Para hindi na natin sila ifa-factor ulit, iwanan na natin sila na naka-factored form. Pansinin na yung numerator natin, maka-cancel yung root of x. Positive, negative, Cancel. So, we just have x minus 1 divided by mult product ng x minus 1 and root x plus 1. And tama tayo. Pwedeng makancel yung x minus 1. Hindi na lang hindi natin finactor. So, now we have 1 over square root of x plus 1. This time, baka pwede na tayo mag-plug in. May makuha na tayong finite value. 1 over square root of 1 plus 1. It's going to be 1 over 1 plus 1 is 1 half. So, yung value ng ating function, habang yung x ay lumalapit ng lumalapit sa 1, is 1 half. Try natin sa example 6. Evaluate the limit of square root of x plus 5 minus 2 over x plus 1. Same thing, pwede tayo mag-plug in muna. Kaso kung magiging indeterminate form yung makuha natin sagot, try natin mag-simplify muna by rationalizing the numerator. Kung nasa denominator yon, then rationalize mo yung denominator. Kaparehong process lang naman. Multiply mo sila by basically the same expression, kaya lang naka-flip yung sign sa gitna. So, this is square root of x plus 5 pa rin. Hindi yun ang babaguhin ko, kundi ito. Sign ng second term. Plus 2 na. Same thing sa denominator, square root of x plus 5 plus 2. Saka tayo mag foil. Ayan, dito at saka dito. Same thing sa next. Define natin, yung square root of x plus 5 multiplied by itself is just x plus 5. Right? Kasi the whole thing raised to 1 half, multiply mo sa sarili raised to 1 half, you add the exponents. Kasi nirewrite yung radical sa exponential form. And then, we have negative 2 multiplied by square root of x plus 5. Actually, ito muna pala. Square root of x plus 5 times positive 2. So, plus muna. Bagging negative counterpart. Plus 5. Then, yung last term natin, negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. All over. Again, baka may makancel out tayo later. So, iwanan natin na naka-factored form yun. Root x plus 5. 
plus 2. Simplify natin yung numerator. Notice na maka-cancel ko itong negative, uh, positive 2 square root of x plus 5 minus 2 square root of x plus 5. So, cancel ko na. Giging 0 kasi yun. Now we just have x plus 5 minus 4 na pwede mo pang simplify as x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 multiplied by square root of x plus 5 plus 2. Ayan. Cancel natin yung magkamukha sa numerator at denominator because anything divided by itself is 1. Now we just have 1 over square root of x plus 5 plus 2. Now we can plug in. Try natin, baka may makuha na tayong limit. Square root of negative 1 plus 5 plus 2. Tayo ka siya, dito tayo sa baba. Yung negative 1 plus 5, magiging square root of 4 na lamang. Plus 2. Simplifying further, root of 4 is 2 added by another 2. It's going to be 1 fourth as the value of our function as x close, comes closer or approaches to negative, approaches negative 1. No? So that's how you evaluate algebraic functions. Wala sa simple, papunta sa mga komplikadong itsura ng function. Now it's your turn. Can you do this? Evaluate lang ang limit ng functions na ito. Let me know in the comments kung ano makukuha mo ang sagot o kung may bahagi ng video na to na hindi pa nung na. Thank you so much for watching this video.